there's nothing standing in our way. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle video. Today we're gonna to be learning a tune called Child Grove. It's just a good tune. If you like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, as well as the variation I'm going to teach you, or a harmony or a chord chart, all that stuff, there's a link in the description for that. Okie doke, let's get started and learn the tune. First, let's figure out what key we're in so we know where these left hand fingers are gonna go. We're in the key of D minor of all things. So let's play a D minor scale starting with that open D string. It'll go D, one, low two, three, A, low one, whole step to low two, three. What is this nonsense? So that's your D minor scale. We'll also have some notes on the E string in this tune, so let's go ahead and play the D minor notes on the E string. So we're gonna have E, low one, whole step to low two, and three. All right, we've got our key signature figured out. Let's find our time signature. Child Grove is in four, four time, so the feel of the tune is one, two, Etc. Okay, we have our key signature, we have our time signature, let's learn the tune. There's nothing standing in our way. I'm going to be teaching this tune by ear, so we're going to be learning it by call and response. I'll play a little section of the tune, you can try playing it back, I'll do that again, you can try again, I'll do it again, you can try again, and if you don't get it after three times, completely fine, obviously you can just scroll back the video and Try it again. As with many tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first half of the tune, and a B part, which is the second half. We're gonna play each one of those twice. Let's start by learning the A part. The first phrase of the A part starts with the open A string, and it'll go like this. One, two, one, two, three. A little slower. time. The second phrase of the A part starts with your low second finger on the E string playing a G note and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slowly. One more time.
The third phrase of the A part starts with that open A string again, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slowly. One more time. And the last phrase of the A part will start with that low second finger on the E string, playing a G note, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Slowly. One more time. All right, that does it for the A part. We've actually learned all the parts of the A part. Let's see if we can string those all together, starting with that open A, and we're gonna play the A part two times through. Remember, it starts da dee da 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 under control, let's go ahead and try the B part. The first phrase of the B part starts with your low first finger on the E string playing an F, and it'll go like this. One, two, one, two, three. A little slower. One more time. The second phrase of the B part will also start with your low first finger on the E string playing an F and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. More slowly. One more time. The third phrase of the B part will start again with that low first finger on the E string, playing an F, one, two, three. A little more slowly. One more time. And the last phrase of the B part, and of the whole entire tune, will start again with your first finger, low first finger, on the E string, playing an F. One, two, three, four. So you've got a high second finger on the A string, um, a C sharp close to the end of that phrase. Here it is a little more slowly. One more time. We now have the whole entire B part. Let's go ahead and string all those little phrases together. And remember, it starts with low first finger on the E string, playing an F, and the melody starts out. We'll play it two times through, nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. And that is it. That is the whole tune. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and try the whole entire thing. Remember, it starts with that open A string. One, two, 
One, two, three. And if you would like to try playing that along with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. But don't go away. I'm just gonna throw a quick little variation at you. I hope you like it. I think it makes the tune sound cool. So take it or leave it, totally optional. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tune down an octave for the first A part, go back to the normal tune for the second A part, down an octave for the B part, and up an octave for the second time through the B part. Here's what the A part is gonna sound like, an octave lower than normal. Okay, so what do I mean by taking a tune down an octave? For some of you, this may already be old news, so you can skip ahead, but for those of you who don't know, an octave basically encompasses eight notes. So for example, a one octave D minor scale would be D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight notes, and it starts and ends on D. Each of those notes is a D, just a higher D and a lower D. Okay, so that's an octave. So if we were going to take the tune down an octave, we would figure out where does the tune start, in this case, A, and we count from there and we're gonna count to eight going down. So we're gonna go one, two, three, A lower A which is your first finger on the G string all right so if the tune started we're gonna do the same thing but starting on that first finger on the G string so the notes have the same names it's the same intervals the melody sounds the same, it just sounds lower because it is. The fingering is gonna be different, so there will probably be some trial and error involved to figure out the melody lower down, but once you know what the melody is supposed to sound like, you can kind of figure it out often. That's the hope, at least. So what we're gonna do for our variation is we're gonna play the A down there, and then we're gonna play the A one more time up higher where it normally would be. And then you get this kind of cool call and response sound. So let's try that. Here we go, nice and slow. Again, we're starting with that first finger on the G string playing an A note. One, two, one, two, three. exact same thing but with the B part and where does the B part start it starts with an F natural your low first finger on the E string so let's count down eight notes one two three four five six seven eight to F on the D string which is your low second finger so here's how that'll sound And we have 
have that C sharp in there. This time it's gonna be a little tricky maybe because it's your high third finger on the G string. Okay, so let's do the B part two times through, once down an octave, once normal up an octave. So again, we are starting with that low second finger on the D string, playing an F. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, lastly, let's put that all together. A part, lower down, and then higher up. B part, lower down, and then higher up. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> If you'd like to try playing that variation with a guitar backup part, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. Well, fiddlers, that wraps up today's fiddle video. Thank you so much for joining to learn this tune. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to head to the link in the description where you can find sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, as well as that down an octave variation and you can find a harmony and a chord chart, all kinds of good stuff. Happy fiddling and I will see you soon.